It's small, it's compact, it's loaded with features. Entry level and probably most importantly, it's really affordable. and welcome to AAR on Air. You know, I often get asked what standard I use or what pellets, what shooting table, and yet probably one of the most asked questions is what was the scope I used? This week's review is of one of the scopes I get asked about a lot. This is a little bit like Prince, not the spare one, the music one, because he became the artist formerly known as. Well, this little compact beauty was formerly known as the Serato, but is now known as the C3. And as far as I'm aware, it's not going to dress up in purple or run off with any actresses. Now, it's exactly the same feature packed scope from the guys at Vector Optics, who have now dropped it into their budget range under the Vict Optics branding. Now, before we get into this review, it's not a 34mm tubed first focal plane etched reticle high end HFT or long range target scope. Now, but it's not priced as one either. Indeed, nowhere near their kind of price. Let's start with that price then, shall we? And get that out of the way first. This will relieve you of less than the price of a tank of diesel for your four x four. It is 89 pounds UK. Now for that, you get a three to nine by 32 ultra short scope, which is only 205 millimeters long with end focusing ring, which will go as low as three yards. <laughs> yes, I said three yards, which is only nine feet. Damn, if you're closer than that, then you may as well throw your gun at it or one of your boots. It tips the scales at only 385 grams. It has fully adjustable turrets, which are quarter inch at 100 yards and are surprisingly sharp and crisp in action. Again, not 2000 pound crisp, but come on. They're also resettable to zero and have a turret locking feature, which is a simple twist operation, which doesn't require the strength of some Greek demigod. The zoom ring is not sloppy at all. And again, doesn't require super human <laughs> strength to use it. It is second focal plane only and doesn't have a complicated etched reticle. It is a simple dot reticle with nine points either side for elevation, hold over, hold under, and the same for windage, left to right. This, is, this even has illuminated reticle on it in either red or green. And you can vary the intensity of the illumination from a hint of light to full on Ford headlight in your face kind of bright. Believe it or not, it also comes with a set of flip ups and a sunshade in the box that can simply be screwed onto the end. which is pretty handy for days like this. Oh, and did I mention there's a set of mounts in the box for the one inch or 25.4 millimeter tube. The eye relief is around 76 to 102 millimeters and is really very comfortable. And there is no loss of quality from wide open to full zoom and nothing goes milky. It is simply sharp all the way. If you wear glasses, there is the ocular adjuster to get this set just right to ensure you have a clear reticle at all times. Now, if you're going to pick fault with that little lot, <laughs> and you're a tough audience, would I drop this on my latest high end rifle that has just set me back a couple of grand? Not likely, but it's not aimed at that kind of market. Would I drop it on something like a Nemesis X CO2 or PCP? Heck yes, 
all day long and I have in the past and it was really accurate and a nice little combination and it will hold its own in such as a ratting or close quarters environment and it looks really nice and neat on shorter or some low cost guns. I've used this on a lot of budget guns to show how you can have a pretty decent setup without the need to negotiate the selling price of some of your internal organs. Is it my ultimate go-to scope? No. On most of my rifles, probably not. But on the ones I've mentioned before, yes, I've always got at least one of these lying around to drop on a budget or ultra short review gun. They're really simple to zero in my and in my experience hold that zero pretty darn well. They can suffer from a very, very slight amount of parallax, but I've experienced more of a problem on some much higher price scopes than this one. I completed the square test on the turrets and found it returned to the start point without any real drama. Vector Air recently had a stand at the British Shooting Show in Birmingham and the interest in this little scope was amazing, most people being well impressed and rightly so. As you can probably gather, this review has been done whilst we're away, supposedly relaxing, but I really wanted to get this little review out after so many people have asked about this Serato or C3 as it's now known. Now that's it, I'm going to get back onto the old sunbed. I think I've got that one covered right and I'm going to continue my R&R. &R. Please, as always, give us the old thumbs up, subscribe, share, click the old alarm bell, check out the AAR website for merch and much more. A big thank you to the guys at Vector Air for packing me off with this little darling and I would like to say a huge thank you. Now not only to everyone out there but especially to everyone who took the time to drop by at the Vector Air stand and say hello at the NEC a few weeks ago. It was such a pleasure to meet so many of you and I really appreciate you all taking the time. As always, please stay safe and shoot safe and hopefully I'll see you next week. Hope it warms up a little back home. Bye for now.